This is a burner I just did up for my Jensen 65. It's a vaporizing type burner with slits, two tubes, and the just slits, and the alcohol vapor burns once they're once it's hot. The reason why we use two tubes is because if you had one tube with several slits in it, no fuel would get to the far end. Three or four slits are all that can remain lit at any one point. So this tube is cut here and this tube down here so we have a nice long line of fire when it's going. Now, this holds fuel enough for several minutes and what I have is an external fuel cell. The idea behind that First off, notice the inlet pipe is below the level of the burner tubes. So once this is in the engine, here, I put in a quantity of alcohol, say up to here, in the can. And then all I do is I raise the tin up to, you know, hold it like there for several seconds. It fills the fuel, the, uh, the uh, fuel tank. Put the can down on the tabletop. Any excess fuel above this level will simply flow back into here. That way, no matter how hot this gets, it will never overflow because there is not enough alcohol in these tubes to flood the burner. And I ran it tonight. I ran three boilers of water and it was absolutely perfect. I am going to use the same system for my Walesco D22 and D18. Now, uh, underneath we have soldered some pennies and the reason for that is under here we have a magnet salvaged from a computer hard drive. Very powerful rare earth magnet. Now, Canadian pennies are only copper on the surface, which means they're easy to solder, and some kind of magnetic alloy in between. So that holds the burner very steady. It's not going anywhere. And uh, it works quite well. I have found a trick to lighting these burners. These burners need quite a bit of preheating and unless you're going to play a torch over them for several minutes it's kind of difficult to get them lit. So all I do is I take a scrap of this is just some uh, heavy paper towel stick it there between the tubes soak that with alcohol and just light it. And I shove it under the engine and within a minute I've got full flame. It uh, works really well, gets the burner going, gets it heated, and it's, it's off. There's no fuss, no bother. So there you have it. A very simple, very reliable burner, and it works quite well. And really, it can run for as long as you want it to. All you have to do is keep occasionally squirting some more alcohol in the fuel tank making sure that you don't raise the level beyond the point where it will flow into here and uh, possibly flood the burner. But like I said, mine will not do that. It's, uh, it's about as safe a meths burner as I think you can make. And there you have it.